um, don't enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, thing, to say the least. Hey. There you go. There's that beautiful announcer, sexy. Shut up. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can stop talking exactly there as we go to winner semifinals. Uh, I do know that a lot of Sonics tend to struggle with the Yoshi matchup, and honestly, when I was playing Yoshi, I never found Sonic to be particularly difficult. However, Wi-Fi is very different. You see people putting both of these characters kind of at the top of their uh, Wi-Fi exclusive tier lists, and I would say for good reason. I wouldn't even necessarily say that Yoshi is better than Sonic, but you see Sonic's getting their uh getting some of their best results on wi-fi and there's certainly a reason for that uh perhaps maybe not the same can be said about uh yoshi at least just in terms of raw tournament wins but nevertheless you do see yoshis making their presence known in these brackets so i do kind of wonder what your take is on the matchup tunes being that you have had experience playing against these characters and how they may interact with one another, and I know that you uh, kind of have a history with Yoshi uh, in and of itself. Uh, yes, in fact, unfortunately for you, though, at a much higher level than Stu, in fact, and I will explain that to you why with the knowledge right now. Sonic, of By course, on Wi-Fi. Yeah, I mean, there's a solid reason that he does, as uh, I mean, as uh, Stu gracefully uh, announced for you all here, that his results have seemingly improved on Wi-Fi, and there is a solid reason for that. The extra five to six minimum frames of input delay on Wi-Fi make it that much harder, if not almost impossible, to react to some of his burst options, quick options like Spin Dash and whatnot, just to name one of them. Yoshi, however, this is a matchup that he is really going to have to play that solid elongated game against and the reason for that is because what yoshi uh lacks in ground speed to keep up with sonic who is the fastest character in the entire game by a full unit above captain falcon mind you there is no greater disparity in terms of full run speed in the game than those two characters just to really put it into perspective for you all how insanely fast of a character sonic the hedgehog is as you know understandably so but what yoshi makes up for that in that dash speed is air speed in which yoshi has the best airspeed in the entire game that is better than jigglypuff it is better than some characters that have wings he is the moves through the air like butter faster than any other character what he makes up for in that ground speed he can stay in the air and actually just bob and weave as that back air will take out sonic the hedgehog's first stock uh, a mile over blue striker but immediately retaliating back to be able to get that back and even the game out completely what he will make up for in terms of that ground is moving through the air and keeping away from Sonic like butter. What he's going to have to watch out for, though, are these jumps out of spin dash to, in a sense, elongate uh, Blue Striker's combos, which you ever see Sonic play before, it's something he loves to do. I mean, he, yeah, he starts the spin dash on the ground, he jumps in the air, he continues on with them, and that's how he's able to get that onslaught damage. So I would, if I were Mile, I would pay good attention to uh, Blue Striker's options in the air, how he's going to jump to try to intercept where Mile is going to go to start this out. Playing a defensive game with Yoshi ain't always the easiest thing to do, but Blue Striker, if there's any character that can split that defense, it's Sonic. I would be inclined to agree with you, but at the same time, Yoshi is a, I mean, Yoshi likes to hit things out of the air, and what difference does a big blue ball make? I would say that uh, a well-timed aerial could be just the, sort of, just the sort of thing that uh that Mayo needs to break the morale of Blue Striker, though it just seems to be uh doing pretty well right now, all things considered. Missing the leg, every time, yeah, it goes back to Smash 4, uh, this particular habit, but every time I see a Sonic miss the ledge like that, my heart does kind of stop, because I think it just has need. But right, no, right. we gotta, we, we gotta realize that Spring's coming out, it's gonna be okay. Blue Striker kind of knows what he's doing. And uh, certainly, evidence uh, of that right now being presented as, we're seeing, oh my gosh, we thought that we were going to see a little bit of cheekiness with the tail, we thought that that priority was going to take over and eventually take that stock but nope eventually you got to come down and eventually you're going to meet the fist of sonic i'm not even sure if he was touching but that is just the power of the chaos emeralds for you nintunist it's going to be blue striker taking game one take that and rewind it back as we go back and again you saw the uh the tail good di there from blue striker and coming down with the quickness resetting and reading the landing perfectly and that's the thing you cannot be caught pressing buttons as yoshi because you are going to be caught in a uh, a world of hurt particularly by that sonic f smash which is uh gained a bit of a reputation even before the wi-fi 
that it has, my friend. A butterfly flies a lot faster than it runs, and right down there you saw him get caught in the one spot where he just catches him again like you just saw before I could even finish my sentence with another forward smash. Sonic the Hedgehog, my friends. Fastest character in the game with a very powerful and very long extending reach forward smash. One thing that Sonic players just absolutely love to do, as you just see again in the middle of my sentence, they love to just run away as he goes for it again, are these runaway dashback forward smashes. It's uh, And again, another one. He's taken like just about almost all of the damage on this stock just from Blue Striker, intercepting Miles' landing with these forward smashes alone. I cannot put into words enough as he actually drops that punish there, I think Mile, if he reacted right there, he could have actually forward smashed himself to be able to end that stock. But I truly cannot put into words how crucial oh. it is to be able to land these forward smash punishes against pretty much any other types of characters in this game. Sonic is just no stranger to catching bad approaches, bad landings with that long reaching forward smash on the ground. He's just amazing at catching opponents out of disadvantage with that. So once Sonic gets in the air, it doesn't matter how good your airspeed is. You gotta be careful what you do. And as you said, Stu, what you press on the way down. You saw Mile press a bad button earlier in that game and lose a stock for it. And you see him press another bad button in a place where he can't, where he should have been pressing a shoulder one and he'll lose that stock for it. But Mile is gonna immediately retaliate with the Yoshi classic landing that uh, grounded move into the aerial up air which is one of Yoshi's best moves you'll ask any Yoshi main and like so many Yoshi players will tell you the uh, huge hitbox and long range and pretty much amazing kill power of up air is just no stranger to be able to closing out stocks when he has to despite if you are the fastest character in the game or not Mayo getting caught with another forward smash you know but he's doing his best job that he possibly can to keep it close going tip for tat in these stocks no Mayo is doing a good job of not uh, wasting his jumps because that is kind of the death sentence. You do kind of get yourself into the habit, especially as a uh, Yoshi of having to armor out of some of these uh, some of these things with that second jump. And if you don't make it back to the to the stage in time, you are simply dead. The one thing that you can do, I mean, you have to conserve your jumps and you have to make sure that you grab the ledge there, otherwise you are dead as. Mile unfortunately demonstrated for the class there, but as we're seeing, uh, as we're seeing, try to approach with these nares and eventually gets a little bit of distance with the forward smash. I'm noticing that Blue Striker really has kind of stopped respecting the distance that Mile is trying to keep between uh, he and Blue Striker. Blue Striker, I mean, we saw him play very aggressively before. But now he's just kind of turned it up to a new gear. He wants that thing done now. And he is not going to waste any time in making his dream become a reality. Mile seems to be uh, trading blows back and forth. But any trade is going to benefit the person that's ahead at this moment. Uh, take whatever societal uh, lessons from that that you will. Nevertheless, it's going to be Blue Striker coming out on top right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it, it's it's so interesting seeing Mile lose a little bit of patience trying to end that stock now, because if there's any character in this game that you truly, truly cannot afford to lose patience against, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. If once this character gets a lead, as you are seeing, he will, and, and I say this with zero exaggeration, quite literally run away with it because he is the fastest character in the game, as I've said a million times during the set already, oh. with a back air that stays out longer than my dreams and aspirations, but the trading neutral air will launch him right back off. Is Miles still in this? No, as neutral is reset again, but he manages to slip in the back air. He's got a hell of a mountain to climb if he wants to be able to bring this back. If I were Blue Striker with only about four minutes left on the clock, this is where a lot of Sonics are going to start playing a little bit more defensively. Try to catch Yoshi, pressing some bad buttons when he doesn't have to to be able to end the stock. You're going to see him like right there before I even am able to hear it. Call out the forward smashes, but he's not even going to give Mile the chance for him to even give him that opportunity to do what he's been doing all set, tacking on the damage with those good catch landing forward smashes. Instead, he catches him in an up air in just the worst spot you could have possibly been caught in an up air in when Sonic still has his up beat on deck, which he's able to cleanly combo into the second one. I want to take a look at this one again, because that was actually very situational. He just calls out exactly where Mile is going to go here by popping out of the egg. Oh my God. And it's such an amazing thing to see as well, because if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that the uh, 
what am I trying to say here? The weird input buffer that Eggs had back in Smash 4 still applies in this game, and that if you can mash a certain input, such as uh, neutral air, out of the egg, and then you start mashing up air instead, and whichever one you start mashing more will be the one that you immediately buffer out of the egg once it breaks, I'm pretty sure that that is still how the egg, uh, that is still how mashing and breaking out of the egg works, so you're just going to want to mash whatever quickest option you have, whatever one you think is most likely to hit the Yoshi, right there, you unfortunately 